Well, good Saturday afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great, great day. It is Saturday afternoon, and I'm sitting here actually doing some work here on the studio, some of the upgrades that I've been trying to do, uh, some new things, as well as watching uh, the Combine. And right now we have wide receivers that are running right now. And, of course, these are the future stars. We may need one of these guys. But I want to touch on last night. Last night, Jerry Jones uh, did a lot of talking when he finally got to the combine and um, says how much he loves Dak Prescott, how he's the quarterback and things, but also proceeded to go through and say that um, because when you have one of these premier quarterbacks – um, you can't put talent around him like he did his early years. And before, actually, before I get to that, let, let me go through and do something else here too. There's been a lot of talk about, you know, us YouTubers, you know, that we're, we're just uh, guys from our mama's basement, so to speak, that we aren't necessarily credible, you know, as opposed to, the sports writers or, you know, the ESPN, the guys that you see in the suits and the, the great studios and everything else with all the, you know, experiences of, you know, someone playing football like Shady McCoy and so on, or the sports writers or the insiders and things that, you know, unless you went to school to be a writer or, you know, to, to be in media that, you know, you're, you're not credible. But I want to bring up something here because my uncle, my uncle Lawrence, who was one of the greatest carpenters I've ever met in my life, who taught me a lot of things as a 10 year old boy helping to build additions onto my parents' house, who never graduated school, he would always talk about educated fools. And for those out there that think that you have to have this pedigree to be successful, I want to put on notice that. Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, um, Richard Branson. None of these guys have a degree. and they're, they're not. They don't have degrees. But yet they're some of the richest people in the world. So there is a thing called like street smarts and things, and people don't necessarily have to have that pedigree to know what they're talking about. In case in point, I will take Space Cowboy. What he put out here last night is incredible. Shout out to Space Cowboy because he put it on notice better than any sports writer that I've seen. And the thing about being a sports writer that sometimes you're encompassed, encompassed, is that the right word? Encompassed to have to kind of toe the company line, that you have to be very careful on what you say because you have to deal with them directly. Sometimes being an outsider, you're able to actually say what's on your mind. So when Jerry Jones says, well, you know, Zach Prescott, when he was young, we surrounded him with talent, but now he's getting paid. We can't do that. It's not really true because let's think about this for a second. What talent has the Dallas Cowboys surrounded Dak Prescott with? Because understand Jason Witten, Tyron Smith, Travis Frederick, Zach Martin, Des Bryant were all there. They had put that there for Tony Romo. And when Dak Prescott came, you know, we brought Zeke Elliott. And understand, he took the talent that went 4-12 in 2015 without Tony Romo. 4-12. and 12. So when people look and say, well, Dak Prescott, with the great talent he had, anybody could be successful. Well, we had Brandon Wheaton. Okay. A four, first round drafted quarterback, Matt Castle, who was a pro bowler, right? And we had Kellen Moore with all of that talent where I dare say Tyron Smith had not missed a game in his career. And they went four and 12 without Tony Romo. He took that team, oh, four and 12, I'm sorry, with the four games that Tony Romo played. He took that team and went 13 and three. So here's what Space Cowboy did. After hearing Jerry Jones say, you know, we can't put any talent around Dak Prescott because he's basically getting paid. 
Keep in mind, Dak Prescott, $680,000 his first three years each year and $2 million his fourth year. It's hard to give Dak Prescott a supporting cast like he had at the beginning of his career. That's the Jerry Jones quote. Your moves in the span of 2017 to 2020, not counting 2016 since Romo was still on the roster. We had $9 million in cap space in 2017. They re-signed Terrence Williams. They drafted Ryan Switzer, who was with us for one year. We got Noah Brown, and we added Blake Jarwin as an undrafted free agent. That was the moves that we did to surround Dak Prescott with talent. 2018, we had $19 million in cap space. We let go of Des Bryant, Jason Witten, and James Hanna, both retired, so we lost Jason Witten. Bryce Butler left. We traded Ryan Switzer. We signed Alan Hearns. Um, we traded for uh, Trayvon Austin. We drafted Michael Gallup, Dalton Schultz, and Cedric Wilson. Um, where's the great talent? Okay, 2019. Shout out, Space Cowboy. I lo- I, thank you so much, Space Cowboy, for putting all this out here. And this is where I say you need to go ahead and understand that because they don't necessarily have the pedigree of others doesn't mean that you're not getting the real deal because this is really real. He, he did all the work on this. So in 2019, we had $18 million in cap space. We got rid of Cole Beasley. Golf Swam, or tight end, he went. We cut Alan Hearns and Terrence Williams, and we brought in Randall Cobb. We brought back Jason Witten, and we re-signed uh, Austin. And we drafted Tony Pollard and Mike Weber. Mike Weber, who did make the team. Um, 2020, we had $25 million in cap space. We got rid of uh, Trayvon Austin. We got rid of Randall Cobb. Jason Witten left. And we re-signed Amari Cooper. And we drafted C.D. Lamb. So, as Jerry Jones says, well, now that we're paying Dak Prescott, we can't surround him with talent. I ask you, when you say talent, the people you have are journeyman players when you bring in an Alan Hearns Randall Cobb understand Randall Cobb had a great year with Dak but he was basically since 2015 his numbers were going downhill that Green Bay finally said he's not viable he's done he had 450 yards receiving his last year in Green Bay he comes with the Cowboys and he plays so well that it rejuvenates his career, that he gets a $25 million contract with the Texans, and his numbers went right back down. Green Bay resigns him, so he goes back with Aaron Rodgers, and his numbers are still down. So when we say that we've surrounded Dak Prescott with a lot of great talent, the only big move that they've made is the one getting Amari Cooper, in which case we let him go. So this is Jerry Jones kind of, being revisionist history now i will say part of the problem has been dak prescott's not the reason why you're not surrounding him with talent i dare say the mistakes that you've been making in free agency and contracts from back in the early 2000s from the jay ratcliffe's from the miles austin from the marion barbers where you've made contracts that have been too much too soon or overpaying a person and then taking dead money and having to make up for that by restructuring instead of jerry jones saying we've made mistakes in contracts like jalen smith you blame dak prescott so that's where i look at this and say jerry jones is not being truthful on how he's explaining this and this is part of the reason why dak prescott gets so much hate and animosity because it's like well well dak prescott's been surrounded by all this great talent great talent is what the eagles did last year 
they went out and said, let's get make sure our offensive line is the best of football. Let's bring in some more running backs so that way we can run the ball by committee. Let's go ahead and make a trade for an A.J. Brown so that way we have great weapons, we got great protection. That, my friends, is actually the model of how you actually surround the quarterback. And it's funny that other teams that have quarterbacks that are making a boatload of money are still getting other talent. Josh Allen's getting paid. Josh Allen is getting paid. Um, But yet, that doesn't prevent them from going out and getting Von Miller. So, we'll see where all this goes, but that's where, what the hell is going on? Just taking my shit. All right, good people. Apparently, I've got some strange things happening down here um, that I need to deal with. And um, I just wanted to put that peace of mind and understand, again, there is a lot of great content that is put out there by people that you may not know or may not deem as credible. That is incredible content and is actually the real deal. And I invite you to check some of them out. You may like me, you may not like me, but I guarantee you that there are people out there that are definitely your speed and they deserve the credit for what they do. Bringing you the facts about what's really going on. I'm Mark Holmes and well, I got more work to do. Peace.